students are trying to play a stronger role in education reform. It's mainly about quality control for teachers. This will be the subject of a rally by students and parents on Thursday afternoon. Joining us are two students connected with an organization pushing for the change in teacher performance evaluations. The Boston Student Advisory Council would like to welcome Carlos Rojas, an 11th grader from Boston Latin, and also with us a former council member currently attending Suffolk University, and she's a youth organizer from Youth Organizers United for the Now Generation, Tina Marie Johnson. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Yes. I want to start with uh, Tina Marie. Uh, I want to talk about, have you talk about, um, how it is that students know the difference between good teaching and bad teaching? Um, I think that students know good teaching from bad teaching, whether they're actually learning something and, and when they're actually wanting to learn the material and they're not just going to class because they have to, they go to class willing and ready to learn and they're fully engaged and they can actually leave the classroom and kind of use the information in other aspects of Carlos, what about your definition? How, how do people know? How do I know that uh, the difference between a good teacher and a bad teacher? Is that what you're asking? Yes. The way I know is, like Tina said, I want to be in that classroom for whatever reason. And a lot of the times you don't actually know exactly why you want to be at, in the classroom, but you just have a feeling. Instead of you know, dreading to go to that class, you want to for some reason. And a lot of the times it's because the teacher um, is, is, is uh, teaching the material in a way that it clicks in you. And it's something that I think no one else but the students can recognize. So that's the way that I know whether a teacher is good or bad. Tina Marie, how, how would students be able to go from there to actually, I guess, scoring a teacher? I mean, how would this process work if, if students were to, were to have some part to play in these evaluations? Well, um, it would be a series of, because we've had constructed a student feedback form for teachers that they get to see only, and it's not for their administrators, and it's a series of open, open-ended questions, the student evaluates themselves first as a student to see if you're actually playing an active role in learning, and then you get a chance to evaluate the teacher based on the course material that you're learning. Um, do you get like one-on-one -on -one attention, or is the teacher just teaching to the whole, to the whole class? Um, do you get support out of school from it? There's a series, series of questions that you can ask to, to know if you're f being fully engaged with your teacher. So Carlos, is, is this the idea to have every student in, in a class fill out this information and somebody compiles it and passes it on? Well actually, um, last December of 2010 we passed out the feedback um, form which was for the teacher only. It didn't, uh, it didn't um, count towards the official evaluation and so every student um, in most uh, Boston Public Schools High School took it and uh, logistically it worked out very well. So we would like to push for someone besides the um, educator, him or herself, um, distribute the forms and collect them. And I think, for, I, I don't think we're being ideal when we say logistically it's possible. So yes, that is the goal and I think it's very important that each student under an instructor is evaluated to avoid um, having uh, uh, data that isn't uh, whole and doesn't really uh, capture the whole picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Tinnery, talk about how this should be weighed against other things because you have test scores, uh, maybe school administrators pop in every so often, maybe they have some other kinds of observers who, who check things out. Um, how valuable is the student observation? The student committee? input is the most valuable because Administrators can pop in at any time, but a teacher will always be on their best behavior, and I've experienced that numerous times. You don't really get to see the effectiveness of their teaching when you just come in a classroom for maybe 10 minutes, because that, that shows nothing. That doesn't show if the students are learning at all. And as far as tests go, not everyone is a test taker, um, and that doesn't measure, because you can, you can be in a class trying to learn something, and it's not you're having a tough time, but that doesn't mean you're not giving it your best, and a test doesn't accurately measure that. Um, and I feel like effective teaching, well, students evaluating their teachers is, works better in any situation because the students can give feedback of, of, of so many different varieties of the teacher um, as a whole and not just on specific aspects, just as a whole, because you can have a teacher that is maybe needs some work, but is still a very good teacher who is working towards that 
you know what I mean? Charles, anything that you, you've, you've heard, uh, uh, either among students or te teachers maybe, uh, about how this feedback actually makes them change what they do in any way? Yeah, well, uh, from the students' perspective, we have a lot of support. Um, everyone is really uh, pushing for being able to actually give feedback to their teachers. Um, after we passed out the feedback form in 2010, uh, I talked to several of my teachers who said that they uh, were very enlightened by the results. And uh, I think it's up to the teacher um, to use the, the feedback constructively and actually improve on it. There are teachers who are concerned about uh, having their students evaluate them, but I think um, that we'll be pushing t uh, to show them that it's uh, beneficial for everyone. It'll improve the education. Um, it will not only improve the relationship, um, but it'll push them uh, to improve on things and reflect on what they need work on. So I think in general, it's a very beneficial thing for both. Uh, Tina Marie, it seems a little doubt that there will be some kind of changes going on even throughout the whole state about teacher performance evaluations. But talk about this rally and why it's important for parents, students to be there. It's important because we want to get our community members behind us and just to show, we want to show our community that students do want to play an active role in their education and we, we're not just in the classroom, we want to, we want to be decision makers as well um, about this process because we can give the best input and we know like I, like we both said, we know what makes a great teacher, and it's not. We want to show. We don't want to just get rid of bad teachers. We also want to show the good teachers how much we appreciate them, um, and how to keep doing the work that they're doing for us to influence other teachers to do good work as well. We should mention it's going to be uh, Thursday afternoon. Thursday 3 at from three thirty to five at City Hall, Boston right. City Hall. Thank you very much for being with us, Tina Marie Johnson and Carlos Rojas. Thank you so much. Up ahead, the report from the Fenway with Lexi O'Connor.